Darling, have you seen my other captain's bars? Oh, sure. Here, honey. I can't believe you're using my captain's bars to hold up a Love Is cartoon. I can't believe I put this up for you three months ago and you never noticed it. But then, Love Is loving his faults. These are official captain's bars. Honey, you're only in the Army Reserves two weeks out of the year. The other 50, they're assigned to the Thumbtack Brigade. Okay, but just so you know... The... These are official captain's books. Yes, they are. Okay, listen, hey, while I got you here, what do you think about if we knock out this wall and put in a pass-through window, you know, with maybe a countertop and bar stools on the other side? It'd be great for puppet shows. But we could eat there, too, right? Or both. Dinner theater. Yeah. Uh, it's probably Pete. All right. I guess this has been up long enough. Ooh, mock tuna salad. That sounds good. Hi, Pete. Well, look at that. It's young Elvis. Hey, is that my uh, paperwork for the plane? Hey, 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 not so grabby, Joe. Where my chocolate and nylons first? Pete, don't off that. I don't want to go off to war a virgin thing. That's how he got me. Man, I wish somebody would have said something last night. Did you uh, get somebody to uh, water the plants and uh, pick up the mail at the office? How many times are you going to ask me that? Just take care of it tomorrow, okay? Okay. Hey, do I smell cinnamon buns? No. Nope. You mind if I check? Go ahead. Hey, how come you're gonna close the office down while you're gone? Because I'm not gonna be here. But your partner will be here. Not if he smells imaginary cinnamon buns. Now, I think it was this cereal. Do you mind if I have some? But in there, do not walk around with it. Okay. And how is Pete ever gonna feel confident as a lawyer if you close the office every time you leave town? Dharma, I love Pete, but he's not gonna feel confident as a lawyer because he's not a good lawyer. <laughs> Because you're not giving him a chance. Look, I know you see Pete as a wobbly little baby bird, but maybe he's a majestic eagle just perched on a cliff waiting to soar. I do not see Pete as a wobbly little baby bird. <laughs> you guys don't want this temporary tattoo thing, do you? No. Oh, you know, Pete, I've been thinking, uh, maybe we should uh, keep the office open while I'm gone. I'll get somebody to take care of the plants. <laughs> well, Pete, Greg wants you to take care of everything while he's gone. All by myself? Sure. I mean, there's no reason why you shouldn't. I'm sure you'll do a great job. All by myself? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll talk about it on the way to the airport. Uh, I'll call you when I get there. I'll wait for you, my soldier boy, no matter how long you're gone. Dharma, it's two weeks. Oh, well, then I can't make any promises. Love you. Love you, too. Yeah. I gotta tell you, Greg, I'm not real comfortable running the office all by myself. Pete, you'll be fine. You'll do a great job. You do remember I went to law school in the Caribbean on a high life scholarship. Dharma! What are you doing? Pass through a window. We just talked about this. It's nice. I mean, it really opens the room up. Any suggestions? I don't know. I used to blame stuff like this on my little brother. I want to pass through here. I want to stick my head through this hole and say, who wants pie? You never have pie. Because I don't have a pass through. Now, come on. You know about this stuff. What do I do? Well, you got to reroute all the water and the gas. Now, this looks like the main trunk to a phone line. You know what? Why don't I give you a hand? We can knock this out in two, three days. A week if you pay me. Thanks, but this is my project. Besides, Greg wants you to handle things at the office. Well, I don't think so. He took the key to the big file cabinet. Really? That's weird. Yeah, not that weird. I bet next time he leaves, he locks up your tools. These envelopes taste terrible. It's a vegan glue. It's made out of turnips. Tastes like feet. Hey, you guys, my friend Pete is a really great lawyer, and he doesn't have a lot of cases right now, so I'm thinking if anyone needs any help with the legal problem, <laughs> anyone ticked off or cheesed off or got their panties in a knot or a bunch or a lot? Or... Yeah, okay. Somebody needs to sue the United States government for the suppression of alien medical technology. Uh... Hey, that's a possibility. What else we got? Claire could use a wheel. 
What have you heard? <laughs> Susan, those tea leaves also might have meant that Claire was going to take a long trip to see her parents. My parents are dead. <laughs> I'm just learning tea leaves. <laughs> Hey, Marcy, do you need a lawyer for any reason? Uh, no. Dharma, I know you're trying to help Pete, but lawsuits just divide people instead of bringing them together. Remember, law spelled backwards is wall. <laughs> She's right, Dharma. Besides, everything with me is great. What happened to your arm? Oh, uh, uh, nothing really. Uh, I was on my way to shower at the Y uh, because my landlord temporarily turned off our hot water uh, a few months ago. And uh, I had to take the bus because the steering wheel on uh, my new car, well, it, it keeps coming off. Uh, and uh, anyway, I was getting off the bus and the driver accidentally closed the door on my arm and dragged me uh, not far, uh, maybe a block. <laughs> Was you? Oh, I, I am sorry I didn't see you. I, I, I would have waved. What do you think, Abby? Well, obviously she should sue those people. Oh, uh, I, I don't want to make any trouble. I mean, my brother-in-law sold me the car, and the bus driver was very apologetic, and I, well, I think he might ask me out. Why don't we go after your landlord? Any particular feelings you have towards him? Uh, well, no, I only met him that one time when he came over to remove all the smoke detectors. <laughs> oh, I got a lawyer for you. Uh, oh, uh, can we take the bus? Because I think it's important to get back on the horse. <laughs> so we have a case, right? Well, yeah, probably. If I were you, I'd get myself a lawyer. <laughs> Keeps, Marcy would like you to handle it. Me? All by myself? <laughs> No, this really isn't that important. Marcy? Let's sue the bastard. <laughs> so come on, Pete, what do we do first? Well, all right. Uh, hang on. Uh, so let me check something. It's a uh, landlord. Isn't this great? The wheels of justice are turning. Landlord's one word, right? <laughs> Man, Phil. All right. Hey, Marlene, quick question. What kind of forms do you need if your landlord turned off your hot water and you want to sue him? Mm, well, first you'd file a complaint with the court. Then you'd file a motion for mandatory injunction seeking equitable relief for the matter outlined in the complaint. Thanks. Okay, I'm just riffing here, but, um... <laughs> What if we filed a complaint with the court and then filed a motion for mandatory injunction seeking equitable relief for the matter outlined in the complaint? How exactly do you do that? This is for Pete, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, he just needs a little push in the right direction. Could you help? Sure. Great. <laughs> All he has to do is get down on both knees and say, Marlene, you are the queen of law. You know everything, and I know nothing. You are exalted, and I am ignorant dirt. <laughs> What if I talk to Greg about getting you a raise? And a company car with a ski rack? I'll do my best. <laughs> this is very sweet of you. I like helping people. Mm. <laughs> Honey, you would have been so proud of Pete. You should have seen him all dressed up with his hair combed, trying to remember the combination to his briefcase. Uh, uh, Pete filed a suit? What, what's the suit? What's the difference? The point is he's doing great, and all he needed was someone to believe in him. Oh, Dharma, you didn't loan him any money, did you? <laughs> Why can't you just admit that it was a good thing to leave the office open? Okay, all right. You're right. I'm, I'm sorry. H how's the, uh, the pass-through coming? Good, good. <laughs> how's the Army Reserves going? Oh, great. You know, it's mostly uh, military law classes, but there's some really cool electives. Yesterday, I got to ride in a tank. Really? <laughs> Did they let you fire the gun and blow stuff up? <laughs> no, they don't, they don't let you fire the gun. But uh, I, got, I got to ride in it, and, and one of the guys took my picture. <laughs> So you made some friends? Oh, yeah. We're, we're army buddies. I mean, these are the friendships that last a lifetime, you know? In fact, tonight, some of the guys and I are going on special night maneuvers with an elite group of army rangers. <laughs> Did that lawyers do that? Oh, yeah. yeah you know, uh, a camouflage, night goggles, the whole deal. And, you know, we're not all lawyers. Uh, Colonel Fleckman is a dentist. <laughs> My landlord locked me out of my apartment. Oh. Honey, I'm going to have to call you back. Have fun camping. 
Dharma, it's not camping. Right, I'm sorry. I love you, honey. Bye. What happened? I thought Pete got your water turned on. I know, but then I went home and there was a big padlock on my door. Anyway, uh, I was wondering if I could borrow a sweater. It's a little drafty at the Y. Oh, no, Mercy. Not staying at the Y. Come on, we'll go see Pete and get this all straightened out. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, did you tell your landlord about that? <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Pete, you busy? Kind of. V looks a little crooked. I've got a little problem here. Marcy's landlord locked her out of her apartment. Relax. I, I expected that. I wish you would have told me I would have worn a sweater. <laughs> well, don't worry. You know, we'll slap a restraining order on him. We'll have you back in your apartment in no time. That sounds good. A restraining order? Does it sound to you, Marlene? A restraining order. <laughs> now, what's that supposed to mean? This means no. <laughs> Need I remind you, Marlene, whose name is partially on that door? You are a pathetic little man. You know, I don't got to take that hey, kind hey, of... Hey, 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 she's just cracking wise, which is one of the things we love about her. You pathetic little man, where do you come up with this stuff? All I'm saying is, you don't slap a restraining order on the guy, you go back to the court and you right, follow... Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, who's the lawyer here? Uh, Pete, no one's saying you're not the lawyer. We're just thinking it. That's it, fine. You're fired, Marlene. Then say goodbye to me and the key to the big file cabinet. I mean, you can't go. You were saying something. We go back to the court and we file what? That's for me to know and him to bite me. <laughs> oh, yeah? We haven't won yet. <laughs> oh, honey, you didn't wake me. How's it going? How was night maneuvers? Oh, you know, pretty good. We haven't quite made it back to the base yet. Where are you? Um, we're at a rest stop off Route 3. We're waiting for a cab. A cab? You mean like a taxi cab? Um... <laughs> Up. The rangers who drove us into the woods last night must have given us a bad bunch of night goggles because we couldn't really see anything. And then the, uh, the compasses didn't work and we didn't have any batteries for the flashlights. It, it was pretty rough. Honey, are you sure these guys aren't just playing a little joke on you? Uh, Dharma, they, 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 these are U.S. Army rangers. They're, they're, they're not frat boys. <laughs> okay, well, listen, um, hey, as long as I got you on the phone, I got this crazy bet going with someone at work. Let's assume you're in a bad with your landlord over hot water and you filed the motion for mandatory injunction seeking equitable relief and he responded by locking you out of your apartment what would be the next thing you do say legally speaking uh, does this have something to do with pete now what do you mean well you know if pete's having any problems just tell him to ask marlene okay but if we were to ask her what do you think she'd uh, say oh uh, honey there's our cab i gotta go love you I don't want to rush you, Dharma, but if we're going to shower at the Y, it's best to get there before 8 o'clock. <laughs> oh, uh, you should shower first, and I'll watch the towels. Then I'll go while you watch the towels. <laughs> Hello? Hello. <laughs> May I help you? I'm here to see Pete. Oh. Sorry, the job's taken. <laughs> but I bet he's going to want to see you anyway. <laughs> Mr. Kavanaugh. Yeah? Guess who this is? Is it Amber? <laughs> Maybe. Who's asking? <laughs> Look, Amber, I'm going to have to call you back, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, Dharma, what's up? Listen, Pete, um, about the Marcy thing, I was talking to one of my yoga students. I'm not sure she might have been a lawyer. Um, and she said that in a landlord dispute like this, you file a writ of mandamus with a declaration to the superior court. Yeah, that's what I did. Really? Yeah, I did it this morning. Oh, well, good for her. I'll go tell her she was right. <laughs>
Amber, can I have a copy of the papers that Pete filed at the court this morning? Um, yeah, it's over there in the cabinet. What are you doing? I'm trying to get my old boyfriend to call me with the power of my mind. <laughs> okay. Well, good luck with that. Yes! <laughs> Stewart! Shoot! has found herself homeless and under the influence of a pimp. <laughs> okay, so he was spicing it up a little bit. He wants the judge to read the whole thing. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, honey. Oh, you know, same old, same old. Bucket! Is that Larry? Uh, yeah, he just came by to... Uh, play bucket, bucket, where is it? Oh, my God. What? Oh, honey, I, it's my turn to hide the bucket. Here, talk to Abby. No, no, I don't have time. Uh, uh, hi, Abby. Uh, camp's fine. Um, uh, how's the baby? Oh, great. He has teeth now. It's a, it's a really ex exciting time. Okay, so he's made stuff up. What's the big deal? It's perjury. <laughs> he can go to jail and I can shut down Greg's law firm. Oh. Darby wants to talk to you. Hang on. What do we do? Well, you have to get the papers back from the court before a judge sees them. Okay, so how do we do that? You can't. <laughs> hey, honey, sorry. It took me a while to hide the bucket. Bucket! Abby! This is priceless. Can I keep it? Uh oh, the pass through's coming along just fine. Uh oh. Greg? Hello? Lawyers. <laughs> so you can understand my dilemma. I want him to have confidence in his legal abilities, and if he gets carted off to jail, that is going to be a major setback. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jail's bad. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So what do you think? Can you give me back the papers? No. That's it? Just no? No, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Can I explain to you again what happened? If you'd like. Would it change anything? No, ma'am. Uh, <laughs> is there maybe some procedure that you haven't thought of that would let me get those papers back before a judge sees them? Possibly. Uh, what might that be? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Let's try another approach. Okay. okay. Uh, come on, just give me the papers! Oh. What happened to ma'am? Ma'am. <laughs> Have a nice day. your nice day. <laughs> Thanks for bailing me out. Our pleasure, dear. I would have called my folks, but they're at my place and the phone isn't working. <laughs> Don't you want to know why I was eating court documents? Not really, dear. I'm a little curious. Edward, it's not important. Hey, um, do you think we could stop for some Pepto or something? I think I got a little paper jam going back here. <laughs>
Oh, I think he works for the contractor. The contractor that's putting in the pass-through window? Nah, we don't need a pass-through window. Hey, you know what you haven't had in two weeks? Yes, I do. A hot pretzel. Let's go get you one. Uh, well, shouldn't somebody be here while they're working? Marcy's here. Marcy's here? Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're cool with that, because she's kind of living with us for a while. Oh, I have good news. I got you a new law client. A fun case. Contempt of court. Destroying public records. Please tell me it's not Pete. It is not Pete. Anything else? Marlene could probably use a raise. <laughs> Any help with the legal problem? <laughs> Anyone ticked off or cheesed off or got their panties in a knot or a bunch or a lot? Or... Yeah, okay. Somebody needs to sue the United States government for the suppression of alien medical technology. <laughs> okay, that's a possibility. What else we got? Claire could use a wheel. What have you heard? <laughs> Susan, those tea leaves also might have meant that Claire was going to take a long trip to see her parents. My parents are dead. <laughs> I'm just learning tea leaves. Hey, Marcy, do you need a lawyer for any reason? Uh, no. Dharma, I know you're trying to help Pete, but lawsuits just divide people instead of bringing them together. Remember, law spelled backwards is wall. She's right, Dharma. Besides, everything with me is great. What happened to your arm? Oh, uh, uh, nothing really. Uh, I was on my way to shower at the Y uh, because my landlord temporarily turned off our hot water uh, a few months ago. And uh, I have to take the bus because the steering wheel on uh, my new car, well, it, it keeps coming off. Uh, and uh, anyway, I was getting off the bus and the driver accidentally closed the door on my arm and dragged me uh, not far, uh, maybe a block. <laughs> Was you? Oh, I, I am sorry I didn't see you. I, I, I would have waved. What do you think, Abby? I was up for you three months ago and you never noticed it. But then, love is loving his faults. <laughs> These are official captain's bars. Honey, you're only in the Army Reserves two weeks out of the year. The other 50, they're assigned to the Thumbtack Brigade. <laughs> okay, but just so you know... The these are official captain's bars. Yes, they are. Okay, listen, hey, while I got you here, what do you think about if we knock out this wall and put in a pass-through window, you know, with maybe a countertop and bar stools on the other side? It'd be great for puppet shows. But we could eat there, too, right? Or both. Dinner theater. Well, it's probably Pete. All right. I guess this has been up long enough. Ooh, mock tuna salad. That sounds good. Hi, hey, Pete. Well, look at that. It's young Elvis. Hey, is that my uh, paperwork for the plane? Hey, 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 not so grabby, Joe. Where are my chocolate and nylons first? Pete, don't off that. I don't want to go off to war a virgin thing. That's how he got me. Man, I wish somebody would have said something last night. Did you uh, get somebody to uh, water the plants and uh, pick up the mail at the office? How many times are you going to ask me that? Just take care of it tomorrow, okay? Okay. Do I smell cinnamon buns? No. Nope. You mind if I check? Go ahead. <laughs> hey, how come you're going to close the office down while you're gone? Because I'm not going to be here. But your partner will be here. Not if he smells imaginary cinnamon buns. <laughs> yeah, I think it was this cereal. Do you mind if I have some? But in there, rangers who drove us into the woods last night must have given us a bad bunch of night goggles because we couldn't really see anything. And then the, uh, the compasses didn't work and we didn't have any batteries for the flashlights. Honey, are you sure these guys aren't just playing a little joke on you? Uh, Dharma, they, 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 these are U.S. Army Rangers. They're, they're, they're not frat boys. <laughs> okay, well, listen, um, hey, as long as I got you on the phone, I got this crazy bet going with someone at work. Let's assume you're in a battle with your landlord over hot water, and you filed the motion for mandatory injunction seeking equitable relief, and he responded by locking you out of your apartment. What would be the next thing you'd do, say, legally speaking? Uh, does this have something to do with Pete? Now, what do you mean? Well, you know, if Pete's having any problems, just tell him to ask Marlene. Okay, but if we were to ask her, what do you think she'd uh, say? Oh, uh, honey, there's our cab. I gotta go. Love you. I don't want to rush you, Dharma, but if we're going to shower at the Y, it's best to get there before 8 o'clock. <laughs> oh, uh, you should shower first, and I'll watch the towels. Then I'll go while you watch the towels. <laughs> Hello? Hello. <laughs> May I help you? 
I'm here to see Pete. Oh, sorry, the job's taken. <laughs> but I bet he's going to want to see you anyway. I'm here to see Pete. Oh, sorry, the job's taken. <laughs> Mr. Cavanaugh? Yeah? Guess who this is? Is it Amber? <laughs> Maybe. Who's asking? <laughs> Look, Amber, I'm going to have to call you back, okay? Bye-bye. Hey, hey, Dharma, what's up? Yeah, listen, Pete, um, about the Marcy thing, I was talking to one of my yoga students. I'm not sure she might have been a lawyer. Um... <laughs> And she said that in a landlord dispute like this, you file a writ of mandamus with a declaration to the superior court. Yeah, that's what I did. Really? Yeah, I did it this morning. Oh, well, good for her. I'll go tell her she was right. <laughs> Amber, can I have a copy of the papers that Pete filed at the court this morning? Um, yeah, it's over there in the cabinet. What are you doing? I'm trying to get my old boyfriend to call me with the power of my mind. <laughs> okay. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Stewart! Blind in the complaint. <laughs> How exactly do you do that? This is for Pete, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, he just needs a little push in the right direction. Could you help? Sure. Great. <laughs> All he has to do is get down on both knees and say, Marlene, you are the queen of law. You know everything, and I know nothing. You are exalted, and I am ignorant dirt. What if I talk to Greg about getting you a raise? And a company car with a ski rack? I'll do my best. <laughs> this is very sweet of you. I like helping people. Mm. <laughs> You would have been so proud of Pete. You should have seen him all dressed up with his hair combed, trying to remember the combination to his briefcase. Uh, uh Pete filed a suit? What, what's the suit? What's the difference? The point is, he's doing great, and all he needed was someone to believe in him. Oh, Dharma, you didn't loan him any money, did you? Why can't you just admit that it was a good thing to leave the office open? Okay, all right. You're right. I'm, I'm sorry. How's the, uh, how's the pass-through coming? Good, good. <laughs> How's the Army Reserves going? Oh, great. You know, it's mostly uh, military law classes, but there's some really cool electives. Yesterday, I got to ride in a tank. Really? Did they let you fire the gun and blow stuff up? No, they don't, they don't let you fire the gun. But uh, I, got, I got to ride in it, and, and one of the guys took my fixed wall and put in a pass-through window, you know, with maybe a countertop and bar stools on the other side. It'd be great for puppet shows. But we could eat there, too, right? Or both. Dinner theater. <laughs> Oh, it's probably Pete. All right. I guess this has been up long enough. Ooh, mock tuna salad. That sounds good. Hey, Pete. Well, look at that. It's young Elvis. <laughs> Is that my uh, paperwork for the plane? Hey, hey, hey. Not so grabby, Joe. Where my chocolate and nylons first? Pete, don't off that. I don't want to go off to war a virgin thing. That's how he got me. <laughs> Man, I wish somebody would have said something last night. Did you uh, get somebody to uh, water the plants and uh, pick up the mail at the office? How many times are you going to ask me that? Just take care of it tomorrow, okay? Okay. Hey, do I smell cinnamon buns? No. Nope. You mind if I check? Go ahead. Hey, how come you're going to close the office down while you're gone? Because I'm not going to be here. But your partner will be here? Not if he smells imaginary cinnamon buns. <laughs> I think it was this cereal. Do you mind if I have some? But in there, do not walk around with it. Okay. And how is Pete ever going to feel confident as a lawyer if you close the office every time you leave town? Dharma, I love Pete. But he's not going to feel confident as a lawyer because he's not a good lawyer. It's because you're not giving him a chance. Look, I know you see Pete as a wobbly little baby bird. 